Hey guys, this is another video and I'm going to use the same sample spreadsheet, only this time I'm going to review what we talked about with inserting rows when you're working with Excel. Um, rows, this was especially interesting to you, I think, for when you're working with your inventory sheet that Cami made for you. So I'm just going to show you how to insert one row and then I'm going to show you how to insert multiple rows as a reminder. If I want to insert one row, Let's say that I want to insert something right underneath this whiteboard cleaner. What I'm going to do is click on the thing below it. So you're always going to want to click below where you want the new line to appear. And again, you're going to want to click the number, not the cell. You don't want it to be clicked here. You want it to be clicked on the number so the whole row is highlighted. And then with your cursor still on that number, you're going to right click or on your laptop, it's the bunny ears and just choose insert. That will insert one row. So now you can put your information in. And I'm just gonna put some fake information here. Now this is one part I want you to be aware of, especially as you're working with your inventory sheet since Cami has made formulas in there. As you can see when I put that this item cost $10, the subtotal did change. I didn't change any of the formulas because all the formulas are written into this cell that's just something that you'll want to pay attention to. You shouldn't have to mess with anything and it should still work, but as you add new things in, just make sure that it's still adding it to that total because otherwise we have a problem with the formula and it won't be correct. So that's how you insert one thing. Now let's say that you got five new items and you want to insert five things. So again, what we're going to do is you always want to start with the cell below where you want to insert. So let's say I want to insert five rows under this double A battery. What I'm going to do is choose five rows from underneath it. One, two, three, four, five, and you can see it says 5R on that little yellow box. So you don't even have to count if you don't want to. Once you have five selected, and again, you're staying over in this number column, Right click again or use your bunny ears and say insert and that is going to insert five rows. So the number of rows you have highlighted will be what it inserts and now you can put your information in. This is, we didn't talk about this, but this is just a handy thing to know. Um, you'll notice here that I had all of the rows in nice color format. If you want them to go back like that, um, there is a formatting tool that's really handy and what I can do is I want it to alternate white and gray so I'm going to highlight my white row and my gray row and I want all of the other rows to follow suit. So once you have it highlighted you can go up to this paintbrush which is the format painter and click it. And so now everything that's in those dancing ants is going to be kind of like the pattern it uses. So now I'm just going to highlight all of my other cells, lift up, and it automatically makes the colors right. So we didn't talk about that, but that's just an extra snazzy thing that you can learn. But let me know if you have any questions about this. That's basically all you have to do to insert either one row or multiple rows into your spreadsheet.